Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Buher 6105 and 6135 by Weekend Farmers T4XS on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map for this test of this small tractor. Now, this may look familiar to you, and as it uh, well as well it should, because this is a modified modificated version of the base game small tractor, and we'll find it under vehicles and small tractors. So, just to show you, yes, here is the base game model of it. Um, 100 horsepower, etc., etc. Zipping over to the new, uh, this current model or this for this mod, uh, 6105, $39,000 to purchase up to 135 horsepower. Manual transmission, 90 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour top speed. We'll talk about that in a moment. And it is 17 slots on console. We have some interesting options, which we will go through in detail. Gearbox version. So this is set, this uh, this version right here that you see is the base game gearbox as we know it. We have an option of a 34 kilometer per hour top speed. So it goes from 15 to 21 miles per hour, still 100 horsepower, or you can go the 40 kilometer per hour or 24 miles per hour, and that bumps up the horsepower to 135. Then we have an interesting option, which I have not seen before, at least not on console. 6105, 25 kilometer per hour transmission for automatic. That's interesting, and it is interesting. We have the three versions of that too, the 25, 34, and 40. So 15, 21, and 24 mile per hour. And of course, the, the fastest one has the 135 horsepower engine. So I have one of each basically to try out and you can decide which one you want to use or you may have to try it out for yourself. But we have one of each, wheel brands. We have Trailberg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Vertistein, BKT, Nokian, and Trailberg. Nothing unusual there. Wheel setup, standard, wide, wheel weights, wide and weights, rear twin, uh, rear twin with a narrow, uh, twins all around, narrows, and then na twin narrows on the rear, and then standard. So that's a little different. Kind of like that, rear narrow twins. So it looks like about 8,900 if you go for twins all around. Now, Michelin has sim, actually it's just weights. Continental, wides and weights. Midas, wides and weights. Vertistein, wides and weights. BKT, BKT has a little bit more. We have a narrow weeds, weights, twins and twins all around. And Nokian is just a weight option. And then back to Trailerberg. So Trailerberg, not uh, not surprising, has the widest range of tires. I kind of like that. That looks kind of neat. Right, front fenders. We can have yes or no. A roll bar, you have a roll bar option for safety uh, in white or yellow. Uh, sorry, white, yellow, or gray, actually. Uh, we have a toolbox option. Yes or no. Um, <laughs> trailer hitch. I believe, I'm not sure what that's probably in different language. We have main color or black, basically. Front loader attacher. This is another interesting option here. Hauer, stole, or no. I... I will, we'll talk about the Hauer front loader attachment in a minute, but just to be, uh, just for now, I would suggest only using the Stoll front loader for reasons I will explain later. Main color, we do have the green, we have black, so that's, as you can see, whatever changed back black there. We can go back to green and then back to black and then a gray and then green again. So slightly different colors there. Hood color, again, we have the green, the yellow, the green, the black, 
and the green and seat color we have a black yellow red green or green and the radiator which is right inside the radiator grill color of green yellow gray or the green and then rim color we have yellow used standard used or red and then license plate so some interesting color options at least there's a little bit to pl play around with right okay so let's hop into our um our base model which is i have not uh, added any options to this kind of really like the exhaust uh horn not really much of a horn uh nothing to do with this one if you want to say that no no extra opening there's no doors or windows open or anything like that in cab if you want to call this in cab so nice animations there so this is the base one with the well so we say the manual transmission Uh, it seems to me that it picks the highest gear kind of pretty much right away when you so basically just going it, it's just in the highest gear right away which is fine um, and we'll hook up this little 90 horsepower uh, cultivator base game cultivator now there's no weight option or anything i would have liked to have seen some weights although it does have a front pin hitch so there are ways to add a weight to the front of this but it would have been nice to seen um some optional weight but um aside from that let's go ahead i'll hire a worker and you can just watch it go through basic well we're gonna say go through the gears but Now it's it's not terrible. It basically starts out in third gear and then shifts to a higher range and fourth gear and it settles in. So it's it's adequate. It's not bad. It's not super ideal, but it's not terrible and it works. So perhaps you're okay with that. Now, in contrast, and now we're stuck at 11 miles an hour. So it might be a tad problematic as you can, as you could see there, if you go with that. If you like running a manual transmission, I would highly recommend picking that transmission for this tractor or that series of transmissions where it's uh, is designated the first set and I'll show you again just to show you what I'm talking about. Sorry to be repetitive, but gearbox version. So we have three gear versions for, I would say, manual transmission and then the three for automatic transmission. That's what I'm talking about. So um, we're going to hop out here. See, this is the quickie front loader on a stole setup and let's start this and we're going to just put that down here i'll going to show you does it say stole on the side of this no it doesn't but that's the stole front uh front loader option with a base game quickie it does also hook up to a hower we're going to show that in a minute now what's different about this oh yes there is um passenger capa possibility to carry a passenger if you have the Kubota DLC if you're interested in that um, yeah it's 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 an added feature you have to, it's a purchase it's it's a paid DLC the Kubota DLC but carrying a passenger is only really available in multiplayer so if you don't play multiplayer then it's pretty much um useless to you right so what what do we have here uh we also have 
Uh, well, that's the front loader. We yeah. There's there's nothing different other than uh, this is the one with the bigger horsepower and the. Oh, let's drive around a little bit. Notice the transmission acts quite a bit differently. It actually goes through the gears. And of course, we're going much faster because I have chosen the the uh, bigger engine with the faster transmission. But if we come to a stop, it actually kind of starts out in third gear instead of like fifth gear right away. And it does gear up through the gears as we go. So that's one thing I noticed that was um, different. And of course, if we set that down and we hire a worker, he actually really does go through every single gear. But settles into a, a good gear, shall we say, a good speed, a good RPM, a good gear choice, pretty much right away. And this actually, this cultivator is a little bit big for this 140 horsepower rated. Um, but um, so if you use uh, the automatic setting on your vehicle and what I mean by that so we're gonna go through that just a little bit let me find it here so if you're in your general settings and you're under input controls gear shift mode automatic or manual that's where you can choose now if you go with manual on a console it's going to be a little bit tricky I do have a video about that but I always run automatic on this setting just because um, I find the controller just does not have enough buttons to really um, operate the manual gear setting how I like it. Now, let's uh, let's talk about the um, let's talk about the um so obviously this is the the front loader attacher this is the howard so let me go get these over to my store area and we'll talk a little bit about that right so notice i have the howard front loader attachment here now the notation on the um on the uh, for this mod in the description says attention the howard front loader console does not support the front loaders from the base game. Why? I don't know why. It doesn't say why. It just says it doesn't work. And it, that's actually very correct. Because um, it will not hook up to anything base game. It will not attach to the Hauer. And it won't attach to the Quickie. I don't have any modded front loader attachments. Perhaps it does work with uh, with some of them. Uh, let me see if he has any. No, this modder does not have any uh, any front loader mods. So I can only guess that's I I it purely speculation on my part that it does attach to. A, a modded one somewhere but it doesn't specify which one so go with the uh, go with the stole and then uh, you can hook up to any front loader at least the base game ones as you can see here that's the quickie and of course that's the one I had on there already but just to demonstrate that it does hook up to these and here is the Hauer and if we go there it also hooks up to that one so if you're having problems hooking up the front uh, loader attachment well just make sure you have the um, stole attachment front loader attachment and you will be fine at least for base game front loader attachments and I think that covers everything uh, there's some PC options, but I'm on PS5 here, so uh, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate any of the PC-specific options that this has. 
And um, yeah, there you go. That's the Buer 6105 and 6135 by Weekend Farmers T4XS on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now. Bye.